What kind of distribution are you going to have and how are you going to get this to the workers? Workers of the world unite. Uh, thank you so much, first of all, for that. I mean, that's, uh, we, you know, we're, we're happy that it's transferring into a universal message and that people are seeing that it's, it is in Egypt, but it's about, hum it's about the human experience and the human struggle that's happening. Uh, and it is very important for us for this film to be distributed properly, and uh, and that's why we, and if it was very important for us to, for it to be made properly, and we were very blessed to come to meet great people and to have amazing people come help us, like Pedro, who wove this incredible thing together. Um, and we do want to applaud Pedro for that. And and you know uh, we're we're trying to get it. You know we do feel that it should have a kind of uh, a distribution where it allows for people to gather, and to discuss, and to come together, and to speak about this, and to communicate on how they can find the thing that their society of consciousness, whatever they stand for, whatever they want to fight for. We don't want people to watch the film, and become activists for Egypt. We want people to watch the film and start to realize that they can take a stake in something that they have a st demand for. And we're, we're looking for, um, we're soon to make an announcement about our distribution. How are and you opening the film without a distributor? We're currently releasing the film independently. Uh, so we're doing this theatrical run in, in New York City at the Film Forum that just opened on Friday. And in Los Angeles, we're opening at the Sunset Theater and at the Santa Monica Lemley. Uh, on Friday, um, and we're doing those ourselves uh, completely independently. One thing that people don't sometimes realize here is that the critical acclaim that a film like this can get in the U.S. makes it have a lot of a lot of power behind it in getting it distributed in the Middle East as well. Mm -hmm. And that right now the film is being uh, reviewed by the censorship board. But when it's when people see that there's a lot of power behind a film like this around the world, a lot of attention around it, it makes it incredibly more difficult for them to stop it. So all of your support is appreciated in that process. Is the film going to be able to be shown in Egypt? Well, the film, the, I mean, you know, as you, you, show as it, you I guess. see, I mean, I mean, well, as you can see, we don't really follow the rules so well. We kind of, so the film being shown in Egypt by the, you know, the traditional route, which we're going with, with the censorship committee, that's what we're going through. But if it's not, we have, other ideas in place of how it will come out there, and you know, as you saw, with when we have when you have a, a, a character, it's hard calling him a character when he's also your friend and he's in the film. But when you have someone like Khaled, who was also in the square, setting up, regardless of what the state media was showing, setting up a tent, setting up a, a you know a, a projector, and and putting up you know playing the image of what really happened in the country directly to people, you learn to kind of do things yourself in a country like Egypt, so.